Hi, this is Dr. Desmond Weil, gastroenterologist and hepatologist at the Man Elizabeth Hospital and Ferrepa Hospital. Today, I want to talk about hepatitis B carrier getting pregnant. Can a hepatitis B carrier get pregnant? Does it uh, harm the fetus? Can they have a normal delivery? Do they need to take any special precaution? If you're interested, carry on listening. So, as a hepatologist, I get referral from patients with other doctors about pregnant women. So, um, first of all, how does a person get hepatitis B in Asia? Most of my patients obtain hepatitis B from the mother. You know, when the hepatitis B mother gave birth to a child, through the process of childbirth, they can pass the virus to the, to the, to the newborn. So, we get it maternal uh, transmission or vertical transmission. So, uh, they can get it from the mother. So, obviously, when this woman is now pregnant, they will be naturally be worried that they may pass it to the next generation. So what can they do about it? Number one is the moment a baby is born in Singapore. Uh, when my child was born 12 years ago, uh, I remember the nurse asked me, Dr. Y, if you have no strong objection about vaccine, we're going to jab your newborn with hepatitis B vaccine, which is the standard national immunization program. I said, yeah, please go ahead. We just follow the rules, okay? So the moment any, board, any baby is born in Singapore, Within a, a few hours, they will jab the baby with hepatitis B. So, a happy carrier giving birth to your child, the moment the child is born, he's protected, reproduction start very early in life. Second thing is that if the mother is a high risk mother, high viral load, positive HPE antigen, when the newborn is born, they will also give the baby special in antibody, we call it HP, that stands for hepatitis B immunoglobulin, HPIG, HP. Giving the baby HPIG can wrap up all the viruses that cross the placenta to the baby and prevent the baby from getting a happy uh, infection. So the baby, the moment the baby is born, the baby is given a passive vaccination and an active vaccination. Yet, many studies show that about up to 10% of the baby like that can still get happy from the mother. So we repeat 10%, it's not 100%. So I told my patient not to worry, under current kind of uh, uh, strategies, the risk of your baby getting from you is less than 10%. But of course, we are Singaporean, we want 100%, okay? Well, many studies have further uh, studied why should a baby get happy from the mother when once the baby is born, they are given active and passive immunization. They're protected from the, from the time they're born. Why should they get uh, uh, infected? Later, we realized that at the very end of the pregnancy, when the uterus tried to contract, the placenta that separate the mother from the child, the placenta can have some break inside. And there can be blood exchange between the mother and the child through this broken placenta. Placenta usually act as a filter, so the mother's blood does not mix with the fetus blood, the baby's blood. They don't mix, they got a filter to, to cross. But when the, when the womb start to contract, there can be some break in the blood vessel in between and there may be direct mixing of blood between the mother and the child. Because of that, if the mother have a lot of viruses in the blood, they can then spread, to the, just spread the virus to the baby even when the baby is in the womb. So when the baby is delivered, we jab the baby with antibody, we jab the baby with happy vaccine, it may be too late for some of these. And we call it intrauterine transmission. In other words, happy carrier can pass the virus to the newborn through intrauterine transmission and that's why the risk of transmission is more than zero even though it's less than 10%. So what can we do to reduce this risk of intrauterine contraction? In the past, some experts have said that well, the, uh, the, the mixing of blood occur after the first contraction when there's a break in the blood vessel. How about we do a cesarean section to take out the baby before the first contraction of the uterus? then there will be no missing of blood and the baby is delivered by a surgery and it's fine. Uh, however, caesarean section itself carry higher risk than normal vaginal delivery. And caesarean section uh, is not warranted for this kind of uh, indication. Furthermore, I told my patient that if your first uh, born is born by a caesarean section, your second, uh, deliver, your second pregnancy will more likely to be also by caesarean section and your third pregnancy will be considered a high-risk pregnancy. So if you have a choice, unless it's medically indicated, you should choose a normal delivery for the first, for the first delivery. 
just in case you or your husband won a soccer team or basketball team number of children okay so going back to hepatitis B um, we have now have very good medication proven by clinical studies that if we treat a pregnant mother with a high viral load at the limit of about 200,000 IU per meal if a mother happy carrier had a high viral load at 28 weeks of 28 weeks of pregnancy the risk of passing the virus to the child is high but if the mother had a low risk of have a low viral load the risk is less after all the risk of transmission at the placenta you intrauterine transmission depend a lot on how much virus the mother had so if a mother had hepatitis B I would explain all this to them and I'll ask them to uh, check the hepatitis B viral load at about week 27 to week 28 the cutoff is 200,000 IU per meal if they have more than 200,000 IU per meal I will counsel them to give them one medication named tenofovir tenofovir have been proven in uh, HIV in hepatitis B people in many countries in the past we know that it is a safe medication it can effectively drop the happy viral load and once we drop the happy when we start from 28 weeks we drop the happy viral load down to be less than 200,000 IU per meal by the time they are 36 37 weeks when they have the contraction and delivery the risk of transmission can be dropped to close to zero so uh, and this drug is proven to be safe the risk of complication is the same as uh, uh, other people that are not taking this drug so we know that there's no added uh, risk to the mother or the fetus so to sum up if a happy carrier is pregnant I congratulate you if you're worried about passing the virus to the newborn just like your mother passed it to you not to worry the risk of transmission is generally less than 10 percent because the moment the fetus is come out as a, as a newborn we give the newborn hepatitis b antibody and hepatitis b vaccination but if you have a high viral load cutoff is 200,000 IU per meal at about week 27 and week 28 then you have to see a liver specialist like myself and many more of my colleagues in Singapore or back home to discuss about taking this medication called tenofovir to drop the viral load to be a low level with that the risk of transmission can be dropped to close to zero I have treated many patients like that and it works my experience is the same as uh, the medical literature whereby tenofovir at, eight, at week 28 can reduce the risk of medical transmission we can drop it to close to zero so as a happy carrier go get pregnant be a mother be a parent enjoy motherhood enjoy parenthood enjoy your pregnancy and you don't have to worry about the happy virus passing to your newborn this is dr desmond white thank you for listening